Hello Aries, welcome. I'm Ryan, thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading so everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel, Val 53 Tarot, she review as well. Thank you. Okay, so there you are. Um, how very interesting. I'm hearing the message come through of through the ashes you will rise like a phoenix. Haven't haven't gotten that one before. Through the ashes you will rise like a phoenix. Um, I don't know exactly what is going on here, but something pretty major and drastic to you is taking place. The way your energy starts off, Aries, I'll have to be honest here. It's with the devil. So whatever is taking place or going on, this is clearly something that is... Um, how do I say this? Don't think about a pink elephant. You've already thought about a pink elephant. That's what you're emotionally kind of showing me. There's something regarding the relationship or commitment between you and someone that a lot of this energy in consideration, and it's not, it's interesting because it, it's in consideration, but you're trying to force yourself to not consider it, but it's too late. You're already considering it. And unfortunately, whatever is going on between you and someone romantically here, um, here's the thing. Life is moving forward and progressing in such a way where it's going to reveal some things to you about the both of you, but I also kind of feel like it's going to show you some things as well about you, and I don't exactly know what that's about. Um, I feel like because there is this energy of, let's just say, facing your shadow side or possibly even facing your own personal demons, it's not, not a literal demon unless you're in that field or that content or niche, but it's pulling out some darkness. Um, it's pulling out some darkness and it's supposed to show you something about where you're at emotionally speaking. I don't know if this is outright denial or outright refusal to see something, but you're gonna see it. You're gonna see it and you're gonna go through it. Now, unfortunately, like I said, rising like a phoenix from the ashes. You, you do show me that, unfortunately, even though this is very painful and difficult for you to kind of see, realize, even feel. Killed the gnat. Um, sorry, Aries, it was on your card. You're good, though. Even though it's hard to feel, even though it's hard to see, and even though it's hard to go through, there's something here where you're saying love, self-love, self-respect will get you through this. It will. Um, it's all a matter of your belief system, 
your strengths, you know, who or what you possibly go to or believe in or look up to. Um, there's an energy of <laughs> literally prayer and get me through this, um, which, yeah, you do get through this. So it's a nice energy. I kind of feel like for you, what you're saying is, you know what, for the sake of your own personal self, it just needs to be done with. You need to kind of close that door and just drop it, let it be, because there is a huge lesson here for you. And like the Phoenix, you're going to have to let go of who you thought you were or what you thought was in order to be reborn again into something that much greater. Interesting. I'm not too sure exactly what is going on with this relationship or commitment that you're in. But like I said, it's like things are falling apart, but if things are actually falling into place for you. There's a major lesson there. There's a major lesson there, and there's the priestess. So, you're getting some pretty big energies today, Aries. Okay, nice energy. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. I'm not too sure about what's going on with that. Um, we'll kind of go with it, but... Interesting. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, you have a decision to make, Aries. Um, you have a decision to make. How very interesting. How very interesting. Um, it's the equivalent, like I said, it's the equivalent of how someone kind of interacts with you. And again, it's, it goes back to the relationship. It goes back to the commitment. It feels like the two of you are actually going through this together, which is nice because it seems like the two of you are definitely starting something new. Um, <clears throat> energetically speaking, though, I will kind of have to call them out. Um, whoever you are dealing with, it, it almost kind of seems and it feels like, let's just say, if there is something moving forward and progressing between the two of you, they show me a whole lot of energy of not necessarily knowing exactly what the next move is, not knowing what the next step is, not knowing what the next, in a sense, action is or plan of action. Um, they show me a little bit of kind of like, um, locked up or stuck energy. And this is what's going on within them. Um, but what's interesting about this Aries is you are kind of presenting yourself in like this, this driven, like, okay, well then fine, let's go through this. Let's rise up. Let's become greater. Let's do better. Let's keep going. Um, they're showing an energy of like, they don't know how to kind of, um, step up or even match your energy. And that's, what's very fascinating is you're kind of saying like, well, um, I kind of feel like you may be dealing with multiple people at the same time. Are you? I feel like you are. There's an energy here, a consideration of two people. So whether you're trying to make it work with one person or whether you're trying to make it work with multiple people, they're sh they're, they personally are showing me the exact same energy of like, hmm, I don't know. I don't know where Aries is going with all this. I don't know where, what Aries is going to do, but here we are trying to figure this out together. And you're showing me Aries like, well, if you're just going to be confused and not know what you're going to do, then I'm just out. Peace. Um, <laughs> that's what's interesting is you're kind of like saying, well, peace, then I'm going to cut you off, let you go. <laughs> fly bird fly uh now i'm gonna go focus on this other person or individual over here and make a decision of whether you know you're, you're kind of going down this energy of whoever you have risen up to be aries um you're in a decision of snip 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 i'm in the, i'm in the mood to cut off people that aren't rising with me or matching my level or stepping up and being by my side to do this with me um i, I feel like what you're saying is the way things are moving forward and proceeding for you right now, emotionally speaking, you're just wanting stability. You're just wanting security. You're just wanting a strong foundation to sit on your throne. 
and you're saying if someone's not going to match that energy, then I'm just going to cut them off. <laughs> it's just very kind of, it is what it is. I'm going to cut them off. Um, cause you know what you're going for. You're going for your throne, Aries. Do what you got to do. Of course, if you are dealing with anyone, it could be dealing with a fire sign, an earth sign, an air sign, or a water sign. They're all here. Goodbye.